Hello, everybody. Okay, I'm going to share my screen um, and then uh, I will get into that uh, uh, same uh, presentation. We started doing that one. Uh, let's try to finish that. Okay. Is that okay with everybody? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, and, and then if you have time, we can uh, do some other things. Uh, if, if, actually, if you want to, because you, you, you are in a good uh, timing, uh, and for me, uh, uh, it's not bad. I mean, we, we finish at 10 o'clock, and I can uh, arrange another uh, session immediately if, if it is needed, okay? Because you are there, and we can, uh, uh, we can spend time if you want to. Add, um, I mean, I had to cancel this. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I had to finish this one and then we can start another one. Okay, so uh, I mean, uh, uh, as I said in the previous ones, the key uh, key things are the three, uh, three things, right? Uh, everybody remember that uh, I saw um, aperture and uh, uh, timing, right? shutter speed. So those are the three key things. And then um, uh, to support that one, you have the histogram. Histogram is a tool. Um, and, and then you have a white balance that you set it uh, uh, in the uh, um, uh, uh, in your camera and, uh, and metering and uh, what kind of uh, lighting uh, type that you want in the camera. Um, and and then the lens uh, 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 f-stop and and the focal length okay up is is focusing we uh, we went through this one right uh, right the zooming yeah. zooming yeah, part? yeah, yeah. 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 Yep. so so uh, this is a, a good example uh, if you have a zoom lens uh, uh, basically, when you want to take the picture, you need to see what is the message you want to give. You, you want to show the entrance of this building or you want to show the uh, uh, environment of that uh, uh, area. You know, depending on that, you, you pick the uh, uh, lens, uh, focal length, right? And um, when you buy uh, zoom lenses, or uh, whether you want to buy prime lenses. I hope you know prime lenses uh, uh, means prime lens means it's a, uh, it's not a zoom lens. It's just a, a single focus. Uh, Fifty millimeter prime lens, eighty-five millimeter prime lens, and there are a variety of uh, prime lenses. Thirty-five, uh, thirty-three millimeter prime lens. Um, so uh, the advantage is. Uh, um, prime lenses, uh, zoom lenses are more flexible and portable, uh, more flexible because you can, with a single lens, you can have all different uh, uh, um, um, focal, focal points, right? Uh, able to get a tighter shot even when you are on right next to what uh, may be happening. See, th this means that um, now, Sometimes when you take pictures, you don't have a lot of space to move. Um, so from the from where you are, uh, you may have to uh, zoom it uh, if you want to take a smaller uh, 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 directed area, or if you want to take a bigger um, view, uh, you can uh, zoom in and out uh, and and get the picture that you want. Okay. That is why it says uh, fle flexibility. Have variety of perspective composition all from one lens. Greater, uh, great for weddings when you can't get close to a couple during the ceremony, right? Can be quite expensive for zoom lens with uh, a two-point lens uh, lower uh, aperture. Now, lenses, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure Alagana knows. Uh, uh, Alagana, is he gone now? I'm here. I'm here. Ah, you're here. Okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, the ap lenses, uh, when you have a 2.8 aperture, that means it's a it's a pretty open uh, 
uh, aperture. I mean, the minimum minimum aperture is pretty uh, big. Means that, I mean, aperture uh, the f stop value is low, but the opening opening of the lens is big. So that means a lo lot of light can come inside the uh, inside the camera inside the uh, uh, sensor. Those are expensive. Um, so uh, if you have 2.8 lenses, that means they are expensive uh, cameras. Normally, you can get uh, 4.5, 5.6 uh, lenses like that. Okay. Pr where uh, prime lenses? Uh, prime lenses. Uh, you don't have too many uh, you many lenses inside. I mean uh, the glass. Uh, uh, pieces inside the uh, prime lens. You can have smaller number of pri uh, uh, lenses. Uh, I mean, when I say lenses uh, inside the, the, the glass uh, uh, pieces, um, and you can get much sharper image. One disadvantage with the zoom lens is uh, you can have uh, uh, a lot of variation, but you might not see everything perfectly uh, clear uh, from uh, the lowest to the highest. Okay, sometimes uh, uh, the, uh, when you go for the highest, you might not see the edges uh, very, very clear. Or when you go to the lowest, you might not see the edges very clear. So that is a disadvantage of zoom lens. I mean, when you go for expensive zoom lenses, then it becomes uh, better and better. Whereas in the prime lenses, because you have only one focal lens, they try to make the whole picture perfectly clear. Okay, so the disadvantage is, uh, I mean, uh, uh, prime lenses are lighter and have wider uh, apertures because uh, you can have wider apertures, wider apertures, see, Whereas, uh, I mean, here we were talking about 2.8. Now, in, uh, uh, in prime lenses, you can have 1.2, 1.4. Uh, that means is you can have so much of light coming in, much better than to even 2.8, okay? And that, that means it's great for low light. In, in, in inside, uh, in, inside the house, you can uh, uh, use it without the flash. And uh, can uh, can be uh, cheaper uh, and cheaper to purchase also. Uh, but the, another disadvantage is uh, you may have to carry two, three different uh, prime uh, lenses when you are going uh, on a trip, uh, because different uh, situations you might need different uh, focal lens. Definitely, uh, if you are if you know that you are going for uh, wildlife. You, you can take a prime lens of uh, 500 millimeter. That is the only thing. That means if you take that, for example, if there's a bird or animal really close by, then you are in trouble. <laughs> you, sometimes you may not be able to uh, take that uh, uh, because you may not be able to go back uh, uh, to give some distance uh, to get that picture. So. There are pluses and minuses uh, in both, okay? Uh, crop factor, uh, do you understand the crop factor? Anybody? Last time you mentioned a little bit about crop factor. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, so the crop factor, uh, that's where I think we stopped uh, last time. Um, crop factor means uh, 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 in a normal uh, camera, uh, the standard camera is uh, uh, designed for 35 millimeters. This is uh, this is uh, uh, it's coming from the old uh, 35 millimeter uh, film uh, age. Uh, long time ago, it was always 35 millimeter film, right? The film size is 35 millimeter, and uh, uh, now the cheaper cameras nowadays are not 35 millimeters. Normally the 35 millimeter camera, we call it is a full frame camera. Okay. Now my camera that I have right now is a full frame camera. 
whereas uh, the Kapile, the one you have, the one I had, uh, my original camera, it's not a full frame camera. It's a, a, a Canon um, similar to the one Kapila has. Uh, that is a cropped camera. Um, that is, uh, I, I think they call it uh, EF and EFS. So that crop means I am in this category, uh, 1.6 times. That means uh, it's uh, 1.6 times smaller than 35 millimeter. So the sensor is small. I mean, in the camera, most expensive component is the sensor, right? And uh, uh, if you have a bigger sensor, that means the camera is more expensive. Now in a point and shoot cameras, you have a very small sensor. So that's why they can uh, give it uh, much cheaper. And in a cell phone, you have a very, very small, tiny uh, sensor. So that's why they include that one along with the telephone, uh, with all the telephone facilities, you have that one, okay? so. In a uh, 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 crop one in Canon, um, they have uh, 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 the smaller size is 1.5. I think in Nikon is is 1.5. So what is this? What what is this meaning? Let's say what is the meaning of this one? Now I will go. I will show you. I go to this next slide and show you uh, uh, to give you a good example. Now, if you're sitting in one place and if you want to take this full uh, frame, uh, this full frame is taken from a 35 millimeter, right? The, you can see the whole building. But if you are at the same point and if you are using a, 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 a crop a camera sensor, that means you can see only this part, the red line, okay? Only the middle part. So there are advantages and disadvantages. Let's say if you are in a um, uh, wildlife uh, situation, that means you need to zoom more and more. It's much better uh, to get the uh, smallest area, but the thing is, the number of pixels in your sensor is the same. It, it doesn't matter. I mean, you can enlarge this one, but then your uh, uh, quality of the quality of the uh, picture will go down. Whereas in a 35 millimeter, if you take this one, uh, let's say 20, uh, 20,000, uh, 20K uh, crop, the whole pixels are within this and uh, the the bigger uh, uh, rectangle uh, we have, right? So if you take a uh, uh, sceneries, uh, um, um, then I think uh, you need to have a bigger um, uh, 35 millimeter. Then then you can cover the whole area. Uh, once you have the whole area, and by editing you can make it a small one if you want to. That is the advantage that you have. But if you take a smaller one and you can make it still smaller, then your quality will go down. I mean, it's, it's plus and minus. When I uh, started uh, uh, doing photography, I took, uh, I bought a, a cheaper one that is a, a, a Canon uh, uh, T6i. And I learned a lot with that. And I learn all this terminology, and and then only I I move to a, a more expensive camera. So this is an advantage. I mean, you can have uh, lenses uh, fitting to that one, and uh, I mean, there's no problem with that. Uh, but uh, 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 full frame has more advantages. File format. Uh, I I don't know. Uh, what kind of file format you use when you are uh, when you are uh, copula? Do you know which uh, file format you use in your camera? I did JPEG. JPEG. Okay. Yeah. So normally, uh, when you do, uh, uh, JPEG is easy if you take uh, if you set it to JPEG because you can uh, use it in the computer and uh, uh, I mean you can do many things uh, with the JPEG. 
but I use the camera raw all the time. Okay. The, the difference is JPEG is already compressed. You take a picture, that picture is already from the camera software, it will compress and put all the information, try to put all the information in that JPEG file. Sometimes you lose, I mean, may, all, all the time you lose some other good information. Uh, that, but at the same time, uh, there's an algorithm in, in the camera uh, software to make it uh, enhance uh, the uh, color a little bit enhance and this and that. I mean, you, you, you can uh, take that picture and uh, email it and print it and do whatever you want because J that picture that you take is a completely uh, formatted, uh, completely uh, completed picture. Whereas if you take a camera raw, uh, camera raw uh, means that uh, camera doesn't do anything. It just take the uh, light information coming to the sensor and store it. So it's up to the uh, person to uh, edit that one, whatever the way you want. Uh, uh, that, that means you can change many, many things. You can change the colors, you can change the highlights, you can change uh, the lighting conditions and variety of things. You have, you have a lot of flexibility to do all the changes. And uh, 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 so that is the advantage uh, with RAW. But uh, uh, to do that, you have to have specialized software. Most of the time, um, all the big camera manufacturers, they, they have their own tools. For, for Canon, uh, they have the uh, DPP, uh, Digital Photo Professional, uh, that you can download and you can edit your pictures uh, through that one. Um, I know Nikon also has uh, uh, some uh, uh, software, but I don't know the names. Uh, Alagana, do you know? Yeah, mute, mate. Uh, uh, maybe uh, Alagana is muted. Yeah. No, there's uh, N N. Uh, let me see. I, I, it's in my computer. It's in somewhere. Uh, there's a uh, the Nikon itself makes one available. Yeah. Or uh, NV or something like that. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, so they 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 have something like that and. Nikon uh, file type, uh, if you take a raw picture, .nef. Uh, yes. And uh, uh, so you can load it there and uh, uh, you can modify that one. And then you can convert that one to JPEG. Yeah, now, it's free software, so you can do all, even right. some, some enhancements. Right. When you yeah. get the camera, uh, uh, you get the free software. Yeah. Now for me, I always use uh, uh, raw uh, raw pictures. Uh, in my camera, I, I keep only raw pictures. And uh, uh, this is uh, CR2, type CR2. That is for my old camera. Now my new camera, uh, CR3. It's a new version, okay? So, so when uh, I get, yeah. Clive, uh, uh, so I, I don't think that I got a, a separate CD or anything uh, to have the software separately. So does it mean that you got the uh, the software uh, with the camera, or you download no, it? No, no, no. Late? You you go you go to Canon uh, Canon uh, yeah. Australia. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. you go to Canon Australia. Okay. And uh, uh, go to support, and uh, uh, they have uh, you you look at your camera model, and uh, okay. go to uh, the the software download, and you can you have to put the camera. Uh, serial number. You, okay. you input the camera serial number and then you can uh, download that one free of charge. Yeah. Actually, that is the best way uh, to do uh, if you don't want to uh, spend uh, uh, money uh, to buy uh, any other software. Now, now for me, I used that one uh, at the beginning, but now I subscribe and I, I have Adobe um, uh, Photoshop and uh, Lightroom, okay? So I do all the things uh, with those uh, uh, software. But uh, to start with, uh, it's the best thing is uh, uh, to get that software from Canon. It also gives free uh, storage space. You can yes. 
Okay. Yes, you can you can store your uh, uh, pictures there, and there there are a lot of advantages. Now, if you if you are really uh, serious uh, in photography, you have to have something like this. Uh, this is much better. You take a picture, uh, and you can enhance that picture so much with with this kind of software. Okay. Now, uh, recently, uh, Alagana's uh, uh, bird pictures are so good, and they are they are very very good uh, pictures. And uh, I mean, what I see is is lot of noise in those pictures. You you realize that, Alagana? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you can you can reduce that noise, yeah. and say for example, if it is a sky or, or the background. Uh, uh if you don't see that uh, spots everywhere it's a kind of a blurry uh, clean uh, picture that right. uh, enhances your bird right okay so the, there are these small small tips that you need to take care of to to get the uh, complete effect to the viewer anyway um there are some things in this uh, um slide package about the uh, about that kind of things i'm not going to go through this uh, you can read this uh, different terminologies okay uh, i hope it is okay yep yep yeah uh, i uh, i think uh, uh, we covered this one before at the beginning but uh, this is very this is one of the key important uh, rules in photography Right. Uh, Try one thing. thing. Yes. When you said the, the, the crop factor and yeah, yeah. so the, the lens and the camera also has to be compatible. Like like in in Nikon, they yeah. have DX lenses versus FX lenses. Right. 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 That's issue yes. Like that. so, yes. Now uh, uh, I don't know too much about uh, uh, Nikon, but in in Canon, when you have the uh, crop uh, um, um, camera. you can put uh, the efs and ef uh, um, lenses both okay it doesn't matter you can put both but uh, you will see still because of the sensor size you will see a smaller portion of that one yeah okay so if you have a intention of buying a, a better camera a full frame camera it's better to buy a ef type of uh, uh, lens that you can use now and then when you get rid of this one and go for that one later on you can use that one also okay but now it has become complicated um, uh, both yeah. nikon and uh, um, canon they come up with a newer uh, yeah, camera uh, yeah. fitting my one is called rf and uh, this is so only mirrorless cameras <laughs> So yeah, the mount comes, is different. So yes. they call it mount type, right? Right. Then it's a yeah, mount type. Yeah. 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 They have to start buying all the exactly. Yes. yes. Yeah. Now, uh, rule of thirds. Now, this is a very important thing when you take a, a picture. I mean, uh, uh, of course, you, you have to learn your camera very well. The technical abilities of the camera. You you need to. Uh, uh, know how to use your buttons and uh, this and that uh, to manipulate the camera. That is uh, a technical aspect. But uh, then, then comes the artistic aspect of uh, uh, the camera and picture taking. And these are very, very important things. So normally, our human eye, without our knowledge, when you look at a picture, when you look at a picture, our eyes go to goes to these uh, points, these four points, the uh, intersection points. so we are supposed to as a photographers we are supposed to put something interesting in these points for if we want to get the attention of the viewer now now in this picture the eye here is is just in that right so if you look at this picture and our immediate attention directly goes to this side not to this side <laughs> it it just happens i mean these are some of the things that we have to learn and now in this picture see the couple uh, normally the old times we used to put the uh, couple in the middle but see this picture it is in this line right so our attention goes there and and then then after that you see the sun uh, sunset 
okay so the pictures people say pictures are nice because once you get into the picture your eyes immediately goes to a spot and then your eyes will wandering around the picture uh, for uh, the if you if your eyes are wandering around uh, around the picture for a long time that means it's a good picture that that is the uh, whole uh, idea okay i mean you can uh, you can read this one rule of uh, uh, rule of thirds and uh, composition in every image uh, every image you make and exposure uh, make your choice uh, fast shutter speed okay i mean depending on the uh, you need to know what you want to do do you use the fast shutter speed to freeze motion or slow to blur it i mean depending on what you are looking for do you uh, make everything sharp or uh, only part of the scene focus because uh, the same way uh, like the uh, rule of third if you have a very sharp point in the picture everybody's eyes you directly go to that sharp point you don't see other things first first the eye goes to that sharp point so if you want to uh, uh, if you have a flower bed for example if you have one particular flower that you want to highlight then uh, you have to make that particular one very very sharp and other things blurry so your eye directly goes to that so i mean you know that kind of uh, uh, things and also um, our eye goes to the place where uh, uh, more uh, highlights more uh, brightness i mean it, 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 those things automatically happens later only it goes to the other areas so that is the light every time you make exposure you make uh, you make uh, choices do you want a fast shutter okay so fast shutter fast shutter um the uh, the frame edges of photo isolate part of the, uh, part of a large scene or decide how much to include uh, uh, i mean uh, this is uh, zooming you know when you when you say standing in front of something and uh, um you, you need to see do you want do i have to show this everything or do I, can i can i see this only that part i mean these are some other things that you have to think uh, before you take a picture um what i what i realize is uh, 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 taking pictures this is why i enjoy taking pictures because it's a intelligent thing you have to think it's not a dumb thing just <laughs> taking a picture it's not a snapshot thing but there's some thinking involved uh, uh if you uh, i mean you can take uh, pictures without thinking involved and you can do those things later i mean that is what i do a lot of times <laughs> but uh, more and more i learn i try to uh, think before i take the picture i i keep my eye in the camera and see what is there and lot of many times uh, um, uh, there are so many people complain about my pictures about the background see i see a nice flower but uh, i try to immediately take that flower but it's not good because i will take a lot of junk behind the background those are not very nice uh, in a in a picture but maybe actually when you are looking at the picture uh, physically you might not see the background i mean uh, you know your brain is only focused on that part but if you put it in the two dimensional picture it's not like that it's not a real thing you might uh, you see a lot of background noise background uh, uh, clutter and background uh, twigs you you take a bird for example and uh, uh, within a tree and if you see a lot of uh, twigs and uh, leaves and things like that your attention goes to those things instead of the bird so how do you how do you sort of blur the surrounding if you just want to take a uh, just a leaf or a bird how do you yeah. sort of uh, you, you, do that you have to th that is why uh, it's very difficult uh, you have to have a, a real focus 
onto only to the bird and then uh, we rem you remember we we uh, learned about the depth of field right if you have the depth of field exactly to the size of the bird and everything else will be a little bit blurry right and and uh, uh, other thing is if you have the bird uh, uh, kind of in a single twig uh, uh, i mean it's very difficult uh, sometimes you might get uh, only one chance to get a bird and uh, you know you will just take the bird um, but uh, uh, that yeah, is why bastard, yeah. yeah the bastard is moving around <laughs> yes uh, that is why the photographers need to have a lot of patience a lot of patience. And, the and, the, and the luck too yes yeah of course yes and and uh, um, um, so uh, I mean, you have to have uh, some distance uh, from from the bird where bird sitting and all the other things. Uh, um, I mean, these things will come. And and the other thing, Kapila, uh, you might not get all the time uh, uh, good pictures. Uh, this is why the uh, editing is very very important. Uh, if you really want to do photography, you have to do some editing. Sometimes you might uh, do, you might get a good picture. Sometimes you might see one uh, piece of uh, twig or something like that coming across uh, the bird. But in editing, you can remove that one. You know, uh, I, I'm, I mean, these kind of things all the time, the good photographers do that. So, Framing, uh, should the picture be horizontal, landscape, get closer, uh, the background. Background is part of the picture. This is a very important uh, lesson uh, about the background because I have beaten up so many times. I have taken many, many nice pictures, but when I show it to other people, lot of complaints I see because of the background. Because the beginning, I see my subject only. I take my subject, <laughs> but I don't realize the background is also my subject because uh, the three-dimensional view I have in front of me, I'm putting it to a two-dimensional picture. When I have the two-dimensional picture, the viewer will see everything in that picture, in that uh, uh, two-dimensional view. So it is very, very important. The background is blurry or not important and uh, take a, uh, does not take my attention to the background. Okay, but there are some backgrounds that are important and uh, you will see that uh, um, later on um, uh, kind of lights, uh, lines and uh, things like that uh, you are directing towards. Uh, uh, um, different objects in the uh, picture. Don't contribute to the, to the uh, eliminate it. Okay, all right. So you can, I mean, I'm, I'm just covering uh, basic things and you can cover uh, a little bit more. Uh, contrast attracts attention, sharp, uh, sharp things uh, uh, take the attention. Uh, so sharp and out of fo focus. Uh, light things uh, take your attention uh, compared with the dark. Um, camera angle uh, uh, emphasis uh, the subject to uh, subject or distort. I mean, you, you know, this is uh, another thing, uh, camera angle, where you want to take a picture, you want to take a face or you want to take a side angle or things like that. I mean, you have to take a lot of pictures. That is how you develop uh, 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 this habit and show it to the people. Use light da, uh, to dark balance uh, the photo. Okay, I mean, uh, tips and pointers. Uh, keep it simple. Uh, choose your subject and use a focal length to eliminate external objects. Move it uh, closer. Textures and uh, patterns work well. Okay. Um, fill the frame. Filling the frame makes your subject larger and cuts out clutter. The rolling hills in this image create the curve, curve moving you across the frame. Now, now you see this picture, this is what I was talking about. Now you see the, there are so many lines here. I mean, your eye will go 
and then you see this circle and coming back and you, you know your eye will if you think silently ponder it and just look at this picture there are so many things to see although there's nothing much interesting but your eye can go wandering around because of those lines so when you take a uh, landscape picture these are some of the things that you have to uh, really really uh, think about uh, when you are sitting in front of something nice those are some of the things uh, uh, that you uh, need to think about sometimes uh, you you are in front of uh, 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 a landscape if you think that let landscape is nice you think about that one. The reason why it is nice is because the mountains, the triangles in the mountains and circles or curves, that kind of uh, uh, things are already there. That is why it appeals to our eye as a nice scenery. Okay, it automatically comes to us. That is why it is nice. So that is why you are sitting there. So then, then you have to uh, try to make the maximum out of the uh, uh, from your camera to show that. Leading lines. Now, now see, uh, this is a very important thing. If you, if you want to show the snow, the man, and your eye will go through this fence and end up in here. Okay. So this is uh, this is another thing. Uh, leading lines uh, uh, always is a um, uh, good uh, photography uh, uh, item. And uh, uh, diagonal lines, you see diagonal lines, converging lines, uh, is, is give you um, create uh, movement, drama, uncertainty, wider angle. Uh, introduce diagonal lines due to the wide angle um, and I mean this this picture is taken in a wide angle means that the uh, the picture you see you are close to you is much more wider and everything converges right this must have taken in a, a 15 millimeter lens a 20 millimeter lens 18 millimeter lens type of a thing like that this is uh, uh, Flashes are a different animal. I think we should uh, uh, talk about that one. I'm also learning uh, uh, flashes. Um, I, do you want to go through that or maybe another time? I think maybe another time for me. Uh, I don't know, Padma and Viti, uh, what, what they yeah, want. Uh, uh, fla flashing, uh, flashes and night lighting is, is completely... Uh, uh, different uh, thing uh, you know let uh, let's go through